Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you today. Come on back to the man cave, right through that hallway. Oh no, you're in it. The cave, the dungeon, here in the village. I want to talk a little bit about this Mo Pfeiffer couple because it seems like everybody else is making a video. Why shouldn't I? I can make a video too, you know, right here on my phone. Hey, eh. Um, I think this is a bunch of hooey and a bunch of nothing if you want to know the truth. I heard on some forum, there's like 10 pages of comments. People love to latch onto something. People love a gotcha moment, especially the guy who started all this nonsense, loves a gotcha moment. Um, at the end of the day, these records, given to me by my good friend Ira Wong, Ira Wong, sorry, Ira, all of these records sound beautiful. And if no one had said, oh, they're cut from DSD, man, you wouldn't have cared because these sound, I love the original pressings of the late 60s Miles Quintet, which these are. They have a certain earthiness and a certain rawness, but these are a whole nother level of dimension, of spatiality, of detail, of dynamics. You know, if anything, I think it should be, they should be applauded for what they're able to do with a DSD file. I also have uh, the Nat King Cole Mofis. I have some by Allison Krauss and Union Station. They all sound utterly fantastic. Uh, the one step I have of the Alex and Krauss belonged to Art Dudley. Art had the best ears in the business as far as I'm concerned, the, the late Art Dudley of Stereophile. And I just feel like, you know, this is not gonna affect the resale value of these things. If anything, they'll go up. Because um, these are beautifully manufactured, high detailed records. You know, is it bad that they, uh, that they didn't tell everybody, oh, we cut them from files? Uh, you know, whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a business. You know, it's funny. We don't really know. We don't know. I don't know the people behind MoFi like I do Joe Harley or Kevin Gray or back in the day, Rudy Van Gelder or Roy Dunan. Yet MoFi is one of the oldest companies in the world for doing quality reissues along with Mosaic. You know, they should be applauded, I think. They produce a, a wonderful product. And that wonderful product product is attested to the fact that they've risen in value every year. Um, so it just bugs me. People are always looking for a gotcha and looking for something to grouse about. I mean, crap, people. Th those are wonderful sounding recordings. I just wouldn't. Get, I'm just not all that worked up about it. I'm only doing a video because every other video seems to be, you know, they were unethical and how dare they? Yeah, was it unethical? I don't know. They're a business. I mean. You can take any one of these reissue labels and I can have, I have issues with them. I'm not gonna get into it here, but this is just a bunch of hooey. Enjoy your records. Don't worry about if it's that or it's that or it's that. I mean, the fact is if it's done really, really well, uh, cut from digital can sound great. The, the jazz uh, label Nouvelle, which is all new jazz recordings, recorded in the same studio every time, same microphones, they take great care in everything they do, and they're cutting files from digital. Digital, and those records sound great. Uh, what would be worse, not having the great expertise MoFi had available to them, and not being able to get this? Which I take it now they must have taken a studer or something to the uh, to 50th Street or wherever these masters were held. Maybe they were held at Iron Mountain. I don't know and they did it there, they did the transfers there. I'd rather have these records just the way they are than not have them. So get over it, ridiculous.